viene de la montaña viento tráenos la claridad viento que viene de la montaña leaving all the beautiful people in volcanoes of Zopolote I headed to the rich coast Costa Rica my very first night I slept at the firefighters and when I walked upstairs I saw not only one but two bike tours after seeing zero for months. One of them is biked what I biked in half the time and the other seemed to keep getting mugged. But off I biked to new friends and a new farm. I kind of knew this would happen. My my Pedro plastic ones, the last one broke, so I bought these random tire irons at this random place, and they're really fat, and I literally can't get under my tire to like scoop it out. So I couldn't fix my flat, which I kind of expected if I got a flat. And then I had hitched a ride to who knows where, like Monteverde, I'm like 10 miles away from where I'm volunteering, and I also, <laughs> When I hitched a ride, I accidentally left my uh, multi-tool in the grass. So I can't get my my tire, my wheel back on. So I'm just like pretty stuck in the middle of nowhere. I can't really walk my bike the last 10 miles because I can't put my wheel on. So I'm probably gonna hitch a ride with like a, a motorcycle back to where I lost the multi-tool, come back and then walk the last 10 miles. But I was so close, and then <laughs> all the problems happened. So right now I'm walking a couple miles back to get my multi-tool. My multi-tool in the grass. Now I walk back. Seven cows under the smallest tree. <laughs> Hola amigos. This is my fourth. Wow, but I've eaten this morning. I think I'm gonna get a stomach ache. But they're so pretty and delicious. Okay, finally ready to go after... I woke up at 6 a.m. Now it's 2... 2.45. Eight hours of mechanical difficulties. And losing things and walking and hitchhiking. And I'm finally ready to go. My bike is ready. I ended up fixing my flat, walking back, 
realizing that there was still metal in my tire, and I got another flat, and then we went back and fixed it. And all this, you have to understand that these tires are almost impossible. They're so hard to remove because they're made to be tubeless. So um, you have to like be able to get under there. Like the tire levers I had didn't even work. And so we used screwdrivers and then we made another flat because the screwdrivers pinched the other tube. So like five patches later, but these guys are helping me out and now I'm ready to go. There it is. Rancho Margo. I don't know if you can see the sign, but it says Rancho Margo. And I'm there, right after I cross these white rapids. Hopefully I don't drown. And then I get delicious food, work, living for the next month. All right, no more biking. Last five minutes of biking for a long time. <laughs> that was actually really fucking hard. Look at that. For a second, I definitely thought I was gonna lose my bike, but. Somehow did not. Woo. We always do two or three for the working man, but this is really the working man song it's called the Working Man Blues. It's a big job getting by at night, get down a while. But I've been a working man, dang it all my life, and I keep on working. As long as my two hands have been to use, I drink a little beer that he can, and sing a little bit of this working man blues. Well, I keep my nose on the grindstone, work hard every day. I might get a little tired on the weekend. the crew I drink a little beer that evening and sing a little bit of this working man blues Sometimes I get tired Yeah. 
The jungle is a magical place of trillions of varieties of bananas, biting insects, and joy. But the question still remains, how far south? Until next time, love, Adam.